Dollarama, baby. We're back. This time, we're here for a shopping spree. Last time I did one of these was at Poundland in London about a year ago. Actually, like, I think it's like almost exactly a year ago to the day. And I absolutely loaded up on British snacks. And it was amazing. But today, we are keeping it local. We are checking out what the Canadian snack selection is looking like at Dollarama. Hopefully, there's going to be some fire. I haven't been in for a while. But it is absolutely freezing cold out here. So let's get inside. Here we go. I haven't had Viva Puffs in probably at least a decade, but made in Canada, worth another shot. Greatest of all time snack. Necessary to have a pack of Welch's on you at all times, at least one. Without any shadow of doubt, have to secure the maple cookies. Obviously there is millions of options by the way, and I'm definitely gonna miss some stuff, but I'm trying to keep to stuff that's either exclusive to Canada or stuff that I haven't tried before or stuff that's just generally like really fire and I know that. But if I miss anything, let me know in the comment sections below and I'll get it next time. Now I know these aren't Canadian, but I've wanted to try these for a while and they seem fire and there's no way that they're not fire, so secured. I've got all this stuff at home, but this is a pretty fire selection of like household things for pretty cheap. Bretzel goldfish. I've never even seen these before. That is officially the end of the aisle. Let me just check here. No, I think I've looked everywhere. I am missing a drink though. I don't have a drink yet. So I'm gonna go to a little cooler at the front and see if there's a drink that I can get. Ooh. Coffee for you. Okay, now we're in bonus here. This is what I like to call the impulse section. And we've got some good choices here. Obviously, almost missed the ketchup chip. Definitely can't do that. I think I'm good on these chocolate bars, but the general rule of thumb, anytime you come into Dollarama, it's criminal to leave without a pack of gum. Secured a pretty serious bag today. Hi there. I always forget how dope Dollarama is. Their selection of like snacks and everything. It's like a grocery store mixed with like a candy store mixed with like, it's actually like all the stores mixed, but it's a dollar store. Total for all of this was $22.56, which considering how much stuff I got is actually insane. If I were to go to like any other grocery store, I'd probably spend like double what I spent in there to get the same amount of stuff. I've seen these forever, literally everywhere, but I've never tried them. And I figured this would be the best time to try them. It's like a Nutella to go. So you've got like half breadsticks and half Nutella. It's kind of like those old, like, I don't even know what they were called. Those little like things that you would get in elementary school that were like crackers, but there was like cheese whiz. It's like that, but with Nutella, which sounds pretty fire. I'm pretty sure you put Nutella on anything and it's delicious. Viva Puffs. This honestly just reminds me of my childhood. My grandma used to get these, um, but that was honestly the last time that I got them. These are something you see everywhere as well, uh, but they're not super popular. Okay. It's like, a cookie with a marshmallow and raspberry jam covered in chocolate. Can't be bad. Mm. Maple cookies, you already know the vibes. I actually have a box of these exact cookies that I just finished at home. And I'm so not in the mood for any more because they're actually quite rich, but for the culture, this is a Canadian classic. This is just one of those things that I imagine anybody that comes to Canada 
like brings us home for their family. They're delicious. It's pretty safe to say that these cookies, no matter what brand you get, taste exactly the same and they're always delicious. Poppy Bay, I don't know if this is just a Canadian snack, um, but this is something I've been eating forever. So if it's not just a Canadian snack, it's a pretty popular snack in Canada. They're just like these like caramel cups with hazelnut and chocolate in them. Oh no, I dropped one. Definitely not eating that one. There we go, try not to drop this one. That's what the cross section looks like there. Oh, these are fire. Beagles are another one that I don't know if they're strictly Canadian, but on the bag it says Canada's number one finger hat, and this is why. I think my fingers may have been smaller last time I did this because they're not really fitting, but that's what they mean by Canada's number one finger hat. Pretzel goldfish, or if you're French, pretzel. I think I might actually just start saying pretzel. I like that word a little bit better than pretzel. I know these ones aren't a Canadian exclusive, but I've never tried them and I want to try them. So we're trying them. It's just a pretzel. These would be really, really good. Dipped in peanut butter, which I'm definitely going to do when I go home. Not bad if you like pretzels. These I've been looking at ever since they've come out, uh, but I've never actually bought them. Reese's Pieces Peanuts. So it's kind of like a peanut M&M vibe, but with Reese's peanut butter instead of chocolate, I guess. Fire. Uh-oh, oh, they're good. These also go hard. Not sure if they're Canadian exclusive. I like to think I'm a little bit healthier when I eat Brookside stuff. Um, I know I'm definitely not, they're still candy, but these are acai and blueberry flavored little candies, chocolate covered candies there. No cross section. These are delicious. These are one of those things that you just like keep eating and then they're gone and you feel sick. Ketchup chips. I don't know why they don't have these in America yet. Lay's in particular makes a really, really good ketchup chip in my personal opinion. Lay's makes the best ketchup chip. Old Dutch is good too, but I feel like when you're talking ketchup chips, Lay's are the OG. Lucky Charms cereal bars. Lacking on the marshmallow content. I mean, it's definitely good, but it's not really my vibe. It tastes a little bit like a Rice Krispie Square. I'm not a huge Lucky Charms guy myself. I would never buy Lucky Charms to eat. It's like, it's not bad. Welch's Fruit Snacks. If you've never had Welch's Fruit Snacks before, I'm so sorry, but these, these are actually like a necessity. You know, like you've got your ketchup, your mustard, your mayonnaise, the stuff that you always have, like your toilet paper, this falls into that category. I've never had a big bag like this before. I usually just get the box from Costco that comes with like a bunch of little bags and one bag is never enough, but these guys are looking fresh. Oh my God. Fat free, gluten free, no preservatives, no artificial flavors or colors. This is basically like eating like a handful of blueberries. All dressed crispers. These are something that are slept on a lot, I feel. I feel like a lot of Canadians don't even know about this. All dressed is a pretty Canadian flavor. I don't know if you can get that in most other places in the world, but each all dressed is like slightly different. But these guys, this is the best all dressed. They're kind of like a cracker. They're more of a cracker than a chip. So once again, it's one of those like sensible solutions. I find myself kind of drawn towards the more, I I'm actually looking at this right now. Nothing about this mix is sensible solutions. And I'm just lying to myself, but sometimes you gotta do that. You're so good. If you only have like a limited amount of money and you can only get a couple things, this combo right here 
trust. And last but not least, wash it all down with a nice piece of dentine ice. I definitely prefer the spearmint, but I didn't see any spearmint. Peppermint will be a nice change. Thank you so much for watching. I had a blast making this video. I actually always have a blast making these videos, but especially when I get to eat a bunch of snacks. If you like this video and want to see some similar stuff in the future, make sure you subscribe. And if you didn't like this video, then don't. I'll see you next time.